that was a little unexpected i wasn't even going to post that video when it came to posting oh i did this upside down for those of you who don't know i posted a video about my chronic illness and how and how bad it had gotten and the response was just so beautiful and i just want to thank you for two things really number one i want to thank you for allowing me a very safe space to be open and raw and vulnerable and allowing me to have that safe space to talk about these things i feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders since i posted that video and it's really hard to even express how much that means to me and number two i want to thank you for sharing your own stories i want to thank you for every single comment because there was so much kindness whether you were sharing your own story or somebody in your life or if you didn't even have a story yourself but you just wanted to show some kindness that is so beautiful i read every single comment and i was blown away by the strength and the courage and the kindness that was being shown in those comments i just want to thank you so much for doing that it means so much to me i love this community just amazing there was just so many of you who are just trying to live their lives and live their lives well and you just took your time out of your day to share some kindness or share your story and i i have so much respect for every single person who took the time to do that or even just took the time to ask questions and want to learn more so that they can be more supportive for people they might come across in their life. And there were so many things that we all seem to have in common and people were sharing things that work for them, groups that work for them, books. There was book recommendations, which I'm excited to kind of look into because I always want to learn a little bit more about how to manage life in this way. There was even one of you or a few of you who are writing books currently. And I'm so proud of you for taking this thing that you have and putting it putting that energy into creating something beautiful i wrote a book and i know how difficult it is and how daunting it is to fill what feels like just all of these blank pages and you have to just fill them and i want you to know just in case nobody has told you but i believe in you i want you to know that you can do this and that goes for everybody. Just in case nobody said it to you, I want you to know that I think you can do this. Whatever it happens to be. And it's really hard to say this, but I'm like, I know I can do this, even though I don't really believe those words within myself. And there's so many ups and downs to trying to achieve something. I even know for me when I wrote my book, which this was years ago, and I do have a few copies if, you, if you'd like one, let me know. But when I got the finished product, it was just so, I can't even describe it. It was so different from what I thought it was gonna be. This was right as my illness was really taking hold of my body. And I'm looking at these books. This was like pouring my, my all of my teaching into this, this little handbook. Cause I didn't wanna make this big like encyclopedia. I wanted it to be a handbook that people could just flip to. I put so much into it and I, I have it finally, physically right in front of me. I drove to an empty parking lot and I just, just cried. Here I am putting all of this work into this book and I was just struggling so much to even get out of bed. I honestly felt just so conflicted and almost like a fraud because everything should have been right and should have been great and I should have been happy and I wasn't. And one thing I've learned is you just have to let yourself have these emotions and feel these things and not put an emotion or a feeling on a particular event. Things aren't always gonna go to plan. They never will, to be honest, once you have a chronic illness. That's hard to come to terms with for sure. But when you do and you allow that, that feeling to come upon you, it actually makes your life so much easier. It was really stressful to write my book as much as I, I wanted it so badly, I've, oh, I always wanted to write a book. It was my dream, it was my goal. And I really thought once I came to the end of it that I would have this like, yeah, I did it. And I did to an extent, but my illness was really starting to show at that point. The thing with EDS and, and a few different illnesses is that usually when you go through 
massive changes in your life, stressful situations can actually bring your illness to the surface. So I obviously I was born with EDS, but it was kind of like like semi dormant, even though the more I learn about it, the more I'm like, oh yeah, no, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Like I used to joke with my family that um, on my tombstone, it would read, I told you I was sick because my family used to joke about it. They'd be like, oh, Sinead's always sick. And so I always say that it's like a superhero who is figuring out that they can fly. They fall off a height and then suddenly the stress of that just like makes them realize, oh, wait a minute, I can fly. It's kind of like that, but you know, the complete opposite. Because instead of realizing you have this amazing skill, you realize that all of your skills, like being able to do the splits or being really flexible, is actually because this entire time you were dealing with EDS. Definitely think I prefer to find out that I could fly. That would make life a lot more fun. But you know, as hard as it was to do all of that while also dealing with a chronic illness that was just starting to really show itself, I would do it all over again. The only real thing that I would change is that I would have just been a bit nicer to myself while I was going through all of that. I had people in my life that were like, you're never gonna write a book. That's never gonna happen. And I kept saying, no, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. And you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go for it. You gotta have belief in yourself and you gotta not think too much and just, just do it. That's something that my mom always says to me. She's like, don't think, just just go for it, just try it. And the one thing that always helps me not to think too much is when I do my makeup. It just gives me this distraction, kind of helps me process and, and get ready and and just go and do something. Like today, I'm getting ready because I have to leave the house and it's hard sometimes. I'm actually getting ready to go and pick up Davy's birthday gift. We always celebrate birthdays or any special occasions, not on the day that it's happening, but either early or late, or even just spread it out. Like, you know how some people might do like, oh, we're going out for dinner and a movie. It's like, no, no, no. We're going out for dinner one day and then a movie the other day. It's just one thing that I've learned being a spoonie is that you have to spread things out. Set dates do not work. It's too much pressure to deal with. The thing is, us spoonies, we've been dealt a really difficult hand and sometimes we just gotta know what's the best cards to play. And sometimes we just gotta keep playing until like a good card comes up. But also we just have to keep playing with people who make playing fun. Even if you don't have the best cards, we can still enjoy the game because we might not be able to control this and everything that goes along with what our body or our mind or our situation might be but one thing that we should allow ourselves to control is the people that we choose to experience this life with i removed some toxic people from my life and it was hard but now i only have people that really understand me people that don't take too much from me that allow me to still give at the same time and also give back to me but even even if I didn't have the people that lift me up, I'd much rather play solitaire than to play poker with a bunch of toxic people. I might be taking this card analogy too far, but you know what I mean. And um, one thing I really got from reading all those comments is how much we actually have in common. Even when we have this range of different illnesses, whether that's a physical, mental illness, a temporary one or a chronic one, we all have so much in common. There are people out there that will get you and understand you. Sometimes we're not lucky enough to meet those people, but they do exist. And sometimes that can even just make you feel less alone, knowing that there's somebody out there that gets you. And I, I hope that with the platform that I have, um, that I, can share those things and make people feel less alone because I felt alone so much my whole life. It wasn't until I got into my 30s that I really was able to completely be myself and really understand that my chronic illness is, is a part of me. It's, it's It does shape who I am, but it doesn't feel as negative. Yes, it, it affects me in negative ways, but it's still a part of me and it still has shaped me into the person and that's okay. It makes me very um, aware of other people and I read other people a lot more because of it. If somebody said, hey, you can give this, give this illness up or you can learn to manage it better, I'd be like, oh, I'll just learn to manage it better. I do get people and I think it's because 
I've learned to read my own body so much that it makes me aware of other people and other people's emotions and feelings. I'm not great at it, but it is the, a plus side to this. I'm, I'm getting really like uncomfortable talking about this because I don't want to cry on camera. So I'm trying, I'm like, don't cry. <laughs> and I actually, I saw this quote this morning. It was something like, uh, your journey, uh, what it wasn't. Your journey is not the same as mine and my journey is not the same as yours. But if we meet on a path, may we encourage each other to keep going. I think it was something like that. I read it this morning and it just reminded me of connecting with you all and also the people that I follow because I follow so many different people with chronic illnesses as well. They're very different to mine, but they're, we're, we're all so similar. And I really value those people that are so honest and open. And I just, I really, I, I wanna be, I wanna be able to be that. I always think of um, in The Simpsons where uh, Lisa makes, um, a Barbie doll. She doesn't like how the Barbie is represented in her world so she wants to create her own one that's like strong and it doesn't sell but then she sees this one girl and this one girl buys her doll and then Lisa's like if only one girl likes it then that's good enough and to me I'm like if I could just help one person even like for 10 minutes of their day if I could just make them feel a little bit better then I will feel better because I do I um, that's my whole life. I'm so uncomfortable. I might just cut this out of the video, but here's here's the thing, right? There's so many of us that really understand what pain is. It doesn't have to be physical pain or on a spectrum, but we understand pain. And because we understand pain, it makes us such amazing people in the world. And we have to remember to value that. I feel like that quote really represents that. Even if we're on a completely different journey, sometimes those paths can cross. And sometimes we can just say, hey, I get you, keep going. And so I will try my absolute best to help people that I come across. And I know that you guys will all do exactly the same thing. And that's why I always say at the end of my videos, I say, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. But you know what? I don't think I need to remind you to be kind to others. I think I actually just need to tell you to be kind to yourself. Because after I read those comments on the video, from last week, I realized that you all just need to be kinder to yourself because you're already showing so much kindness to other people. I'm just gonna take a quick break, finish my makeup, and then I will be, I'll be back in a second. Sorry, I just had to finish my makeup off camera because I was getting too, too emotional. I want to thank you for letting me be part of your day, for sharing and being vulnerable and being kind in the previous video, but in all of my videos and also likely on this one as well and i would only ask one thing because it is mr davy's birthday if you do want to comment anything you could always just wish him a happy birthday he always reads the comments he's always on the lives and he is the love of my life so if you want to wish him a happy birthday i'd really appreciate it as always my friends be kind to yourself i'm not going to tell you to be kind to others because you're already doing it and i will see you in the next one